eat them. Like, high five. They got to buy. So we're now in Arran, just about to go off a wee drive up to Loch Ranza, it's the north part of Arran. This is where we're staying, as you can see. My mum and dad have got a place for the week, so just came over for three days in between work. So it should be fun. We're going on an adventure. I am a giant, he is my hip plus. <laughs> I should not put it. Look how small it is in my head. Built up to the heather. <laughs> Hi folks. Hello. That is a nice morning view. Not often do you have breakfast sitting in the sun. But that's what you get here in Haddon. I'm going to walk up a hill just beside where we are. And it's got a waterfall at the top. Glen Ashdale Falls. This is where we're walking today. Go to the waterfalls and then there's this giant grave viewpoint. So I might go there. The red squirrels. You can see that. Arran has quite a large population of red squirrels. Since it's an island, the grey squirrel hasn't been able to get across the water and overpopulate here. So it's one of the few places now really in the UK where you can see red squirrels, which is quite cool. That car has seen better days. Are you okay in there? No. It smells like shit around here. And not the nice kind. There's signs scattered along the path. And it tell you some fun facts, information about the walk and red squirrels. I won't tell you them just now because then if you come you'll already know the fun facts and you won't be excited about learning them. I'll give you one. Red squirrels can turn their hind legs 180 degrees it means they can change direction fast pretty cool no tell you what this weather is definitely taps off weather Oy. giant's grave so they like a less cool version of pyramids basically if people died they put them in there but let birds eat their flesh first Nice. Apparently that's where I was supposed to be going to, but it took me like 15 minutes instead of the hour and a half I expected. We'll test out the uh, stabilisation feature on the GoPro because we might as well. Did I go that way or that way? I feel like I'm walking through a tree graveyard. Yeah, he is. Oh, hi Fred. Oh my god. Look! Oh. Go see him. Go. Go boy. 
You have to go. Bye, boy. Bye, bye. Well, we're about to start a father son battle on the golf course. There we are, one golden nugget. You're welcome. See? Quartz intrusions. No way is There's no turning back now. It's just me and the goat. I've been walking for just over an hour. Pretty, pretty fast. This last bit. The steps just take out of you. Oh, the rest of the walk's been pretty, pretty good. It's just near the top. Step after step after step. Which has made it pretty cold actually. And there's a slight wind picking up. It's not long. Anyway. It's starting to blow and it's been pretty cold. But uh what a but what a view. That's pretty special now. Start the last day here. I'm going today over to Holy Isle, so I'm just waiting on the small boat to take us over. One, one, two, three. So here's some more of the wildlife that's on the island that just live. shelter and then you just live completely off the land. I'll leave you to eat in peace.
This is pretty steep here. I thought this was just going to be a casual little walk up a hill. But no. I'm wearing jean shorts and Adidas originals. This is not suitable. And we've reached the top of the hill at Holy Isle. It's not bad, is it? Yeah, that was a lot harder than I thought. Definitely. Here's Goat Fell. There. All of this side of the island is dedicated just to the conservation of wildlife. And they don't do anything with it, they just leave it and let wildlife take over. All down here um, is some religious thing. <laughs> I'm explaining it very well, I'm gonna. It was previously owned by a Christian family. He sold it to Buddhists and they said some story. She had a dream that she had sold this island to Buddhist monks. And the monk guy also had a dream that he saw the lights of Lam Lash um, from this island. So it was meant to be, obviously. 